Hi, this is Marcia, and today we're going to be talking about setting student growth goals by using the NWA MAP Assessment Guide. Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining. I'm super excited to be sharing out about how do you use student profile report to set academic growth to make that impact on achievement. So today we're going to be looking at the student profile report. We're going to be talking about goal setting, not just with RIT, but even how to get, encourage the students to keep up with making an impact on their RIT score through checklists and online data points and even goal setting. You guys ready? Let's get started. The first thing I need you to do is I need you to go to the student profile report in your NWA MAP online suite. And inside of that student profile report, you're going to see that when you open it up, each student is going to have different color tabs. The tabs that you're going to be looking at are for math, reading, language usage, and science. And it's color co coordinated with everything that we've been talking about as we've been looking through the different data reports. So today I'm looking at math. And this is Jeff's report. And Jeff is going to go in, he's going to have a focus goal, that's his magnifying glass, and things that he can improve upon. Right there, I can use those suggestions that were created by MAP to give me academic goals for our students. But what I really want you to do is I want you to scroll down to where you see this really cool growth report. I think of it as climbing the mountain, right? And it's got the sky, the mountain, and as you're climbing up, how's it, how it gets easier as you get closer to the top, right? I don't know. It's just kind of something I share out with the students. It looks like a mountain. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is when the students come back to my small group area for that data meeting, I'm going to showcase this report to them. I'm going to have that ready to go, and I'm going to show them the growth over time from the first time they take the test to where they are now. And sometimes you're going to see big jumps, sometimes you're going to see some dips, and sometimes you might see a plateau. But those are all good talking points. And I will talk that through with the students. Like, hey, Jeff, look at where you're going. You are making an impact and you are growing your data. So let's keep that ball moving. Also, to the side, you're going to see that you can do the RIT score. It gives a goal and you can adjust that. Like if Jeff's like, well, I can do better than four points. Okay, well then how? You can talk through it and then you can make those adjustments. And don't worry, it will always stay with the predicted growth. So if you go higher or lower, the predicted growth for math will still be there. This is just a conversation you're having with you and your student. Okay, so we have this data. Now it's time to really look at how we can make an impact on achievement. And the way I do this is I have a data meeting form that I fill out with the students. So my next student comes back and it's Colton. And I put in the date and I say, okay, today is January 31st, 2024. Put in his name, Colton Minnick. And Colton and I are going to go through and we're going to talk about all what's happening in the classroom as well as that RIT score. So we have the RIT score pulled up. Now we take a look at his checklist. When he comes back to my small group, I look to see at his checklist. How many things has he completed on his checklist? If you don't know what I'm talking about with checklists, feel free to go watch a video of ours talking about how checklists can really increase that student engagement and ownership. So right now, Colton has 10 out of 12 items completed on his checklist. Great. I'm going to be like, Colton, you got two more to do. Can you get it done before the end of class today? Yes, of course. Then we go back and we look at that map report, the one that looks like the mountain. And I tell him, okay, your current RIT score is a 220. And I even explained to him as far as going in to say, okay, as a national norms, a 220 right now, you are above grade level. But we got to keep pushing you to that next point. So we set a grit score. And our grit score is going to be at 224. And again, we pull out the national norms. We talk about it. Where does that mean within that national norm? The next thing we do is we look at online data piece. In this school, Colton is using ST Math. So his current level, he's looking at 3D shapes, he's completed 16 puzzles, and he has spent 38 minutes on ST Math. This is really good because the kids know that when they're not working with me in a small group, that I am actually looking at their data on the online piece. So I write that down for them. The last thing that we do is we set an academic goal. 
And we don't just say, oh, I want to pay attention more, or I'm not going to sit beside my friends. What we're going to do is we're going to pick one of these goals that we have created. And you can find this on our online store. And what it does is I break it down by RIT score, math assessment, classroom, small group, independent practice, data points, and um, digital content, collaboration. These are all things that are going to help our students to be successful. And I've done it by every different color within math. So when I was working with Holton, I realized that he is above average, so I'm going to go to the blue goal setting page. And he's going to pick a goal. So his goal is that he's going to keep track of his data. We notice that he's a very competitive student, so I'm going to write down, I will keep track of my progress on unit tests, online data, and other data points in my data folder. I think if Colton is more aware of how he's being successful over time, he's going to get that encouragement to do well on his test. But again, I found that by looking at the blue suggested goals for the students. And he picked. I just brought the sheet out for him to look at. And then last but not least, I asked Colton, hey, what are, you, what are you doing outside of school? And he said he's trying out for the basketball team. So I write that down as well because I want to come back and check in on him. This data meeting, if I have my map data pulled up, if I have my goal setting ideas, and I have this little sheet that you see in front of you, I am going to be able to get my students in and out of every data meeting within about one to one to two minutes. So it's not long in length. I just have to be prepared and ready to look at all this data when they come back to my small group. A great way to make an impact on student achievement is to set up goal setting with your students. It is really great to use that map data to showcase their RIT score, to use the national norms, and to actually let the students pick their academic goal that they want to do. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining us. I love sharing out information about map data, goal setting, and even checklists. So if you're looking for a workshop this spring or summer, feel free to contact me. We'll reach out to you and get you signed up.